Today, we're going to explore the fascinating and essential process of making sure airplane engines are safe and reliable. These tests can be quite unusual, like using chicken cannons or checking how engines handle water, but they're incredibly important. They push these powerful machines to their limits, making sure they can handle tough challenges like extreme winds or extreme temperatures, be it scorching heat or freezing cold. And before we continue, please don't forget to support our channel by liking and subscribing for more adventures. Did you see that? A chicken went into an airplane engine. This video shows one of the tests aircraft engines have to pass before they can fly. But why are these tests so important? Every year, more than 10,000 bird strikes happen, with over 26 hits a day on average, according to the FAA. These bird collisions cause about $1.2 billion in damage to flying planes, with engines taking the most damage. Remember the miracle on the Hudson when birds hit a plane? That incident destroyed both engines, showing how bad a bird strike can be. To stop disasters like this, manufacturers made a clever way to test engines. The chicken gun. It's a big air cannon that shoots chicken carcasses, mimicking high-speed bird strikes. This helps engineers see if the engine can handle it. Modern engines are made to swallow the bird and keep going like nothing happened. But if the strike damages a part, it can make the engine stop. Luckily, because engines are built well, bird strikes rarely cause deaths, except for the birds. Still, these tests are super important for engines. Engines face many challenges, including extreme weather. They often work in rain and storms, so they need to work perfectly even when wet. To make sure engines can handle water, manufacturers do water tests. In these tests, a lot of water is shot into running engines, sometimes up to 800 gallons a minute. The goal is simple. The engine should let the water go through and push it out the back without losing power. If it works, it means the engine can handle heavy rain and still work well. Airplane engines don't just get put in and forgotten about. They go through tough tests to prove they're strong. Let's look at some of the interesting tests these engines go through. Wind tests. Crosswinds can be troublesome during takeoff and landing, making it hard for planes to stay on course. They can even make the engine's fan blades shake and get damaged. To avoid this, engines go through wind tests. In these tests, strong winds blow through the engine while side winds try to push the plane off course. These tests check if the engine can handle strong gusts, making flights safe in tough weather. Fire and ice tests. Now, let's talk about fire and ice, two tough conditions that can harm airplane engines. Freezing cold can be tough for engines, so engines are put in super cold places for days or even weeks to see how they work in freezing conditions. Another test shoots hard ice into a running engine, like flying through a hailstorm. This helps figure out if the engine can take the icy hits without breaking. On the other hand, engines also need to handle extreme heat. The fire test puts the engine in super hot conditions for a long time, just like the ice test. These tests prove that engines can work great in all kinds of weather, whether it's freezing cold or scorching hot. High-altitude testing engines for aircraft need to be tough, not just in hot or cold weather, but also in high altitudes. If an engine can't handle high altitudes, it can cause many problems throughout its life. To make sure engines work well at high altitudes, they go through an important test called the altitude or vacuum chamber test. This test happens inside a special chamber that can mimic the conditions of different altitudes. Engineers set the chamber to match the atmospheric pressure and temperature of the desired altitude. Inside the chamber, the engine faces conditions like those at high altitudes. This test shows how the engine performs in low pressure places. If the engine passes this test with flying colors, it's ready for the next steps. But even a small issue during this test can make the engine makers change things to make sure the engine works well at high altitudes. Thrust Reversal Testing Let's talk about thrust reversal testing, which is super important for every aircraft engine. Thrust reversal helps planes slow down when they land, making landings safe. Imagine planes landing with no way to slow down. It would be dangerous. To check this important function, engines go through a specific test. 
In this trial, they look at how the engine operates safely and how it behaves when thrust reversers are used. Picture a big wind tunnel where the plane's landing is simulated while the thrust reversers are on. This test makes sure that the thrust reversers can do their jobs safely. Additionally, this test checks if the engine sucks in fuel vapors into the air intakes, which could be risky. New engines have protections against this, but they still get tested to make sure they work well during reverse thrust, ensuring safe landings. Acoustic testing. Let's talk about noise, specifically the noise that comes from aircraft engines. You might have noticed that when an airplane takes off, the engines can be quite loud. But did you know that engineers are working hard to make them quieter? Their goal is to reduce engine noise by 65% by the year 2050. To understand just how loud these engines can be, imagine putting one inside a building and running it at full power. It would generate a deafening 140 decibels of noise. That's painfully loud. However, when the same engine roars at full power outdoors, it adheres to environmental rules and produces noise within the range of 60 decibels, which is much more bearable. Now, you might wonder how they make sure aircraft engines stay within these noise limits. Well, that's where acoustic testing comes in. Manufacturers use a special method to precisely measure the sound levels produced by these engines. They place the engine outside and surround it with super sensitive microphones. These microphones are incredibly good at picking up even the tiniest changes in noise, capturing sounds that are just a fraction of a decibel. Then they rev up the engine, starting from low power and gradually increasing it to full power. This allows them to record every sound the engine makes and ensure it complies with the strict noise regulations. Test flights. While most testing happens on the ground, aircraft engines also need to prove themselves in the air before they can be used in real planes. This is where test flights come into play. To conduct these tests, special planes called test beds are used. These planes are modified to carry the engines and provide the necessary conditions for testing. One example is GE's flying test bed, a modified Boeing 747-700 designed for carrying test engines. There are various types of test beds, but they all serve the same purpose, to take the engine up into the sky and evaluate its performance. During these test flights, engines are put to the test under extreme conditions. They are pushed to their limits, subjected to different speeds, and put through various maneuvers to see how they perform in different situations. These tests provide valuable insights into the engine's capabilities and behavior in real-world flight conditions. Once the engine successfully passes these demanding tests and demonstrates that it can handle the challenges of the sky, it receives certification. This certification signifies that the engine is safe, reliable, and ready to power actual planes that carry passengers and cargo. 